for this exercise, we're only going to focus on the center part, which is the face. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I live in Western Massachusetts. Like a lot of members of the Enjoying Art community, I stumbled on Yang Chen's instructional videos on YouTube, and what I saw there really inspired me. For less than the cost of a weekly cup of coffee, I can sign into weekly live demonstrations. I have access to a huge body of instructional videos. Really have access to this amazing teacher wherever you are on your artistic journey. The instructional videos that he's created are an incredible resource to you. He can take you through the fundamentals of drawing, painting in watercolors, painting in oils, other media, really step by step. Second, if you're hungry for feedback from a master teacher, you are in the right place. If you're looking for a community of fellow artists, many at different places in their journey, all different levels, from all over the world, you found the place where you really belong. I'm gonna use this artisar. 33 piece drawing set. Start with a B pencil. This would be the face area. Look at the angle and try to capture the angle. Now I'm gonna put this here from to, from here to here. Perfect. And now I rotate it. You can see. Yep, is longer than the width. This side over here, for example, and I'm going to take it and it need to be a little bit longer. It need to be this much more. Now, all right. Now, since we already know the location of the face, now I'm going to have this come up, this, the mouth a little bit thicker, like this, and then half of it, it belong to the upper lip. If you don't believe it, don't act on it immediately. You need to sp still spend the time looking at it. Is this is the right angle? If you're not sure about it, use a phone, take a picture of it, and then look at it again. Okay, here you go. Is that parallel? This is the eye. Someone do it faster, someone do it slower. But if you're following, using the same technique, following the step, and you can measure. Okay, I think this is a little bit higher here. And then coming over. But don't make this line higher than the line that you already drew. I'm going to define the area of the shadow. You see that from here, right above the eye, right the eye over here. And then come into almost like right here coming down. And this is the shadow shape. The whole eye over here, that's the shadow shape, like that. So make sure we get the, the shadow area darker. Also, we can see this, this area. Making sure you spend enough time to finding those shape. Okay, finding those shape. Okay, here you go. The smiley line. And I think this is probably too long. Okay, here you go. And coming here like that. And they sh catch the shadow. And under the nose, right over here, like that. Can you see that? That's just draw the area. Uh, again, angle is very important. So coming over here. And then the lower lip, right over here. And look at that, it should be a little bit more to the right side or the left side. And you see this is this is the light shape. Is this light shape, it looks like the light shape need to be like this. Okay, coming in over here, the light shape like that. And now we're gonna start setting. And also the hair, you can see the hair, this is shadow. There's the shadow, like that on this side. Can you see the shadow, right? a shadow over there. And what I'm going to do, now I'm going to use, now because of this pencil darker, you can make it darker. Also rotate the pencil. Okay, rotate the pencil. Okay, I'm going to go in over here. Everything, don't leave the eye to be white. Everything in the shadow. Okay. 
everything in a shadow. Here you go. Use the paper tower and make it a little bit softer. Here you go. Like that. A little bit softer. Okay. What the next thing we're going to do, we're going to clean up a little bit the light shape. Like this line, I'm going to let it go. And inside this light shape of the nose, I'm going to make a little bit more clear. And take a look at in over here. I'm going to light it up. And coming in over here, light it up. So we're only going to look for the light side and the shadow side. Okay. It will be become very easy and simple if you make your mind only think about one simple thing at a time. And it's never going to be easy if you make yourself have to handle more than you can handle. Okay, I don't know what is it more than you can handle. I don't know your limit. I can test you. Okay, see how much you can handle at the same time. Mm hmm. I still feeling though, uh, compared to the reference, maybe it's just right, but it's just always feeling. Uh, what's this my pencil? The three B. I put it back here already, huh? Okay, I think this coming. Here you go, coming this way like that all right now I'm gonna come in over here to also light up clean up okay take it easy clean up this shape okay take a look at this light shape so take it easy we have the 5b the 5b a lot darker okay here we go now, the first thing, I'm going to separate the, the hair over here. I'm going to make it darker. I'm going to have this come out to the outside like this. See that from here coming outside. Now, let me try even use darker. It's 7B. Okay. Now, I'm going to sitting over here. Oh, my God. Look at that. Do you see the behind me? This is kind of, I'm, I'm like sitting on the glass. Oh. Okay, this is good. It's a special effect. Okay, here you go. Now, using this angle to make this more exclusive. I can make this darker and make the outside darker at the same time. Okay, that's good. Now, I make this even lower. Okay, like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna looking at this. Actually, the the really dark sleeve is start from here, and like that, down. That's good. Now I'm gonna use this, this the same value all the way coming down over here, to suggest the uh, the shirt and the bottom over here coming down right here. Okay, it's still going up, but I'm not going to draw those details. Only like that. That's good enough. It's all right. Good. Now I'm going to take a look at this area. This area, actually, I'm going to, first thing, I'm going to do it this angle, like that. And follow the, the direction of the nose. Okay, this angle. Now I'm going to put it in this side, making this also darker. And don't make it really, really dark. Uh, don't press it really hard, okay? And just be gentle. 
and you can do it multiple multiple times not one time make it all dark and otherwise that is going to uh, damage the surface of the paper too too much now I'm going to do this a little bit darker what I'm going to doing I'm going to doing like this angle you see that this angle and coming up like this that's good now getting there right and that's always dark in the dark light in the light and also here we can see that a little bit dark over here so I'm going to use this angle and always keep rotating your pencil okay this is good getting there this is good now I want to take a look at I'm going to expand this a little bit more you can see this need to be wider okay here you go coming up up like that that's good and I can also have a little shape this way coming a little bit shape like this way okay that's good a little bit darker shape over here and start adding the little bit darker shape I'll keep rotating the pencil again okay otherwise if you keep rotating it you don't have to sharpen the pencil that much okay I'm gonna have this kind of dark color coming down over here merge into the bottom here okay this is good now getting there this is pretty good now see we haven't developed much about the details we're just putting the larger shape right and it already look three-dimensional this is amazing so I'm going to also expand this shape is it moving a little bit make the the negative shape a little bit wider you can see the negative shape a little bit too small right like this that's as good like that very nice now what next we're going to do oh I also want to light up over here too okay here you go that's supposed to be a light shape okay here you go okay that's is good this is good what next we're going to do we need to continue adjusting the value I think this need to be even darker uh, darker than that so I don't need to have the 7b it will be too dark I'm going to use the 5b okay just use very soft a group of line so don't worry about the eye white okay a lot of people leave the eye white to be white it looks scary okay okay here you go like that a little bit more okay here we go now I have this a little bit softer connecting in here now this is a little bit sharper and this inside over here the corner a little bit darker looks like a little triangle over here okay and this coming in look at that nostril coming in like here mm-hmm that's good and now I'm gonna make this a little bit more clear I'm gonna have to light up a little bit that's good and I make this a little bit more clear all right this is good what's the next thing we're gonna do I think we should working into the eye a little bit okay I'm gonna using the 5b again continue I'm gonna take a look at just looking at the eye this eye this angle okay look at this line coming in a little bit over here a little bit higher okay Get a little bit away from the eye line that's as good and you can look at inside over here between these two lines also can be a little bit darker okay here you go like that look at over here all the way and I can see the upper eyelid over here a little bit curved 
Let's get a little bit darker. Like that. A little bit transition, curving up like that. Okay, look at this corner. And take a look. Look at the eye. This is good. And then the corner over here, the tear, tear dot right here. And the top over here, a little bit darker. So you don't have to make the eye white to be white. It's not white. Okay. It yeah, actually part of the eye. Okay, here you go. Part of the shadow. And I'm going to have this a little bit darker. There's the eraser. That's good. Uh, not too much. Okay. That's on the outside over here. A little bit lighter. The same is when you're doing watercolor. It's just light up, lift up a little color. Right. And for the eraser, it's charcoal. is the same. And just use the nitty eraser. Lift it up a little bit. Now, it's just a little bit different. It create a very, very good, easy, strong suggestion. Okay, you don't want to make that really white because it's never going to be as light as, as is the light side. Okay, and here. Never going to be like the light side. Okay. Now take a look at the lower lip of the mouth. Now lift it up a little bit. You see how many steps we go through? It's just one step at a time. We don't try to do all this at one step. We go through many, many steps. Each step has a purpose. Okay, that's a little bit lighter. And we're also going to make this, the upper lip of the mouth, a little bit lighter. Right. I'm really looking forward to our summer portrait challenge. I want to hear from you what you think about the thing that you have been struggled with. We can help each other in a more specific way for you during the three months portrait challenge.